Straight off the stage, we got Dale Watson. How are you today? I am. Well, it's a beautiful day. How can I be any, yeah, any better? It's a beautiful environment, great people, music, and nature. What a better thing. And great guitar player. We got, you know, Albert Lee's here. I'm, oh, just, I'm excited to hear that guy. Robert Randolph is Kenny Wayne Shepherd. It's about to go down. Yeah, yeah so it's, it's quite a big day. Yeah. Now, now, tell us about where you grew up and how you got involved in music. Well, <laughs> I ain't grown up yet, but I, I, well, I probably it, it, it right? probably will be in Austin, Texas. But but no, I I grew up uh, in uh, south of Houston in Pasadena, Texas, and uh, my dad was a musician and and my brothers and so I got I came to music. Yeah, I, yeah, it was all around. So uh, I was was working in a Shasta bottling company uh, in uh, Houston there, and then I found out playing music was a lot more. Uh, lucrative and easier, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. so I stayed with that. That's beautiful. Now, at what age were you on stage playing for people? Oh, I, I think first time was probably around 10 or something like that. But I, professionally, getting making money, I was, I was 14. Wow. Well, Texas has got a, such a rich musical history. I know you played with some of the best of them. You know. I've been lucky. Yeah. 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 We're real, uh, re real sad to see Merle Haggard pass. Tell yeah. us about your greatest memories of Merle. Uh, well, I've done lucky enough to open a few shows with Merle, and uh, he's always been the, you know, just the, the nicest guy. To, you know, you hear, you worry about meeting your heroes because yeah, yeah. they can, you know, not be hero like, but uh, he was always great, and uh, I, I guess my, just. For two hours, I sat on his bus and we just talked about everything from music just to his thoughts of life, you know? Yeah. So, so that's probably, yes, that's, that's something I'm going to take with me forever. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How kind he was. It? Yeah. Sure, sure. Any other musical highlights? Who were some of the uh, best people you had the opportunity to learn from? Well, I take Willie Nelson for granted because he's, he's always been there for me and treated me nice from day one. And, uh, but he's he is like the uh, the Buddha of every everybody. He's got such Zen power. But Johnny Cash was another one. Uh, meeting him and and uh, him complimenting me that, okay. that that made a difference in my life. And, you know, between uh, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash, and Merle Haggard, and George Jones. Okay. George Jones also complimented me on my songwriting and and so with all that and Ray Price. Ray Price is another one. What was the best advice George gave you? Uh, George, he he said for me to keep doing the song "Country My Ass" that I wrote, because he says if you feel that way, other people feel that way, and he was right. That's it. That's it. Now, what advice do you give to the young players? You know, young creative people coming up today. What do you tell them? Probably the same thing George told me. He said, you know, just do do what you're passionate about, and because uh, you're not the only one who who uh, who feels that passion. That's great. Yeah. Dale, always great to see you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. I'm on.